Quebec has announced its first death linked to blood clots after a woman in her 50s received Oxford AstraZeneca's COVID-19 vaccine. Health officials said on Tuesday that the victim was 54. The woman's death linked to cerebral blood clots, which public health assures is extremely rare, one out of 100,000 chance, is Canada's first death linked to a vaccination. There is much higher risk, up to 10 times more likely, of brain blood clots, cerebral venous sinus thrombosis from COVID-19 infection than there is from against the disease, researchers say. Health Minister Christian Dubé said the province is currently investigating four cases of serious complications out of some 400,000 people who have received the AstraZeneca vaccine. Currently, the province is offering the vaccine to people between the ages 45 and 79, and Quebec say there are no plans to change that strategy. Health officials have highlighted that COVID-19 is associated with more common clotting disorders than cerebral venous sinus thrombosis, CVST, such as strokes, and that recent debates around vaccine has lost sign of how bad the disease itself could be. Blood clotting can also occur in a side effects to other common medications such as birth control and hormone replacement therapy during pregnancy, from long trips, after an injury or post-surgery, and due to smoking. The risk of clotting are higher in each of these cases than from the COVID-19 vaccine themselves, experts said, stressing that the benefit of vaccination outweighs the risk. In another news, Premier François Legault said the situation has improved enough to allow primary school to reopen next week in Quebec City and the Chaudira Palace region. The province also announced that the 8 p.m. curfew in Montreal and Laval will be pushed by 9.30 p.m. as of next Monday, May 3rd. Legault said future easing of restrictions will be done gradually to avoid a resurgence of cases. Quebec is reporting 899 new cases, fewer than 1,000 cases for the second day in a row, and 14 additional deaths Tuesday linking to the third wave of COVID-19 crisis. Three of those deaths occur in the past 24 hours, while 11 Quebecers died between April 20 and 25. The case count stands at 346,596, while the number of recovery has now surpassed 325,000. There were 889 new cases on Monday. The death toll has reached 10,898, but health authorities said two deaths that were previously attributed to the novel coronavirus were withdrawn following an investigation. The vaccination campaign saw another 47,757 doses administered. Appointments are also now open to Quebecers who have a physical or intellectual disability. The government has also announced that companies in several more regions have decided to turn part of their workplaces into mass vaccination clinics. Since the rollout kicked off in December, the province has given more than 2.9 million jobs. The majority of those have been first shot. When it comes to pandemic-related hospitalizations, there are three more people for a total of 667. Of those patients, 170 are an intensive care unit, an increase of three from the previous day. Quebec administered 28,417 tests Sunday, the latest day for which that information is available. This is Omar Global Radio News.